G'day folks, Toby here. Uh, today I'm trying something a bit different. I found this little piece of quartz metal detecting uh, recently. Very flat, um, little chunk of quartz as you can see there. It gives a really, really loud signal. So there's gold in there. You can actually see it when you get up to a really bright light, uh, which is uh, this side. Just in there, there is a uh, little bit of yellow you can see sort of shining through the quartz, possibly not on video. But bright light, bright sunlight, you can see it. So, um, yeah, found it out metal detecting. I was going to break it up and get the bit of gold out, and I had an idea, and I uh, thought, well, why don't we see if we can make that into uh, a little gold and quartz gemstone. So I'm going to get some basic hand tools in the workshop. Uh, we'll sand it round, smooth it, dome it over, and see if we can expose the gold without breaking it or messing it up. Uh, polish it and uh, see what we end up with. So uh, let's go and see what we can do. Okay, so we have our stone in the workshop. I have a dop stick to stick on the back. That's uh, actually just a piece of really hard timber I found on the workshop floor. Probably should clean my workshop up a little more often. So we need to stick that on the stone there so we can then um, sand it and cut it and do all the things that they're doing. So I've got some super glue, some cheap and nasty super glue. I'll put a glob of that on there. Glob of that on there. We shall, in a very technical and scientific fashion, stick them together. Okay, so using gear that you can get quite cheaply and easily on eBay or um, yeah, various tool supply websites, I've got one of these little diamond uh, cutting blades for a Dremel. They're uh, fairly cheap, reasonably effective little things. I use them for cutting glass, gems, all sorts of things. A cheap rotary tool, which I find a very, very handy bit of equipment. Tighten it up in a second. And our uh, dop stone. Now silica, quartz is silica, crystalline silica. Not something you want to breathe in. Uh, I've got one of these squirt bottles so you pump them up and squirt. They're a really quite handy way of dampening down and reducing dust. But make sure you use a, uh, a dust mask, make sure you use safety glasses. Okay, so I've got it a reasonable shape, not quite perfect yet, but I'm going to now grind the top and uh, try not to cut too deep into the gold because obviously this is just the first stage roughing out, try to get it nice and level, this is obviously not going to be perfect, I'm sure if you've got uh, lots of gem cutting experience and uh, the right tools it makes a big difference, but it just goes to show you can do this with some pretty basic tools. Uh, and try to get it really level and flat. It'll look a lot better. Yeah, so I've sanded that down now. You can see a little bit of gold sticking out. There's a bit of something else in there. I imagine it'd be um, galena or something like that. Black stuff. There's possibly spellerite in there. So it's starting to look more of a gemstone shape. Um, I want to kind of cut it down a little bit more and expose a bit more gold, but I'm also a bit concerned about uh, making it too thin and breaking. Uh, we'll see, I'll sand it a little bit more and then we'll switch to uh, wet and dry paper. Okay, so I've got a bit of 400 grit wet and dry paper here. Exposed a bit more gold there, you can see it's really not going to focus very well on that. See a bit more yellow on there. A nice flat surface and a little bit of cement sheeting. Plenty of water. I'll start giving it a bit more of the sand. 
a slow way to do it. If you've got the right gear, it makes a big difference, I would imagine. Bit of a tip, I've learned from cutting opals like this. Dry your stone out thoroughly between each different grit. Make sure there's no scratches, because it's a lot easier to get a, uh, a little scratch out at 600 grit than it is at uh, 1000 or 1500 grit. This is the stage you want to get every scratch out from the previous um, grinding. And same when you use the 600 grit, which I'll use next. And then I'll probably use a 1000 grit and then something finer again. So I can see a few scratches there. They need to come out before I switch to the next grade or it was a very, very difficult job, especially by hand. Looking a bit better. I've gone over this really thoroughly with 600 grit. Concentrating on uh, any little scratches. You can see it's all pretty smooth. Water off it. All pretty smooth. Uh, there's no obvious scratches in there. This is the time to really go over any scratchy bits because you won't get them out with 1000 grit. Now I'll switch over to a thousand and it'll start to look a bit uh, a bit shinier. Right, thousand grit done. On to one thousand five hundred grit. Skip forward to the 2000 grit. Did it with 1500 for a while, but I didn't show too much of that because it uh, gets a bit boring watching the same thing over and over again. I'm getting a bit bored sanding now, I must say, but it is starting to look quite good. I'll get some, uh, some polish and a few scratches in there, but they're always much more obvious once you get to this stage. One of those things, doing it by hand, you're never going to get it perfect. Gold on there, so it's starting to look good. We'll give it a bit of a polish and uh, see how it looks in the end. Get the gloss off it. I reckon it's looking quite good. Okay, so I've got a little uh, polishing attachment duvalacker here. I've got um, aluminium oxide on my fingers there. Probably should use gloves, but no. Nah. That's the worst that can happen. Probably quite a bit. So give that a good rub in there. It'll spray everywhere. Move back on that. Wash my fingers. Just have to get in there sometimes. I'm doing up in there. There you go, the idea actually worked. It's polished up quite nicely, you can see the shine on it there. A few little uh, dull patches on it, but yeah, you can always sand them again and dart it up a little bit. Uh, I'll put a detailed photo of this at the end of the video. But yeah, it worked. Actually, this looks really quite pretty. I'll take it off that dop stick and flatten the back off a bit. And, um, yeah, we have a quartz gemstone, gold gemstone. Uh, I've seen photos of these in books before and kind of always wanted one, so there you go, now I have one. So you take your time and uh, you can do pretty well with some pretty basic tools there. Thanks for watching, folks. Um, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. I would appreciate any comments or uh, advice anyone's got. So, um, yeah, thank you. Find heaps of gold, and uh, we'll be back soon.